So we have tonight uh, the unboxing of a Dell Venue 8 Pro. So it's uh, my first Windows 8 tablet. It's just an 8 inch tablet and uh, I've gotten for it a a cover. Here, a cover. And I've gotten a keyboard stand. So this is how it's supposed to be. Uh, let's see the specs really quick in the back. Uh, we have here, let's focus, an Atom processor uh, with uh, 2 megabytes of cache and up to 1.8 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of memory and 32 gigabytes of storage capacity. Uh, a few years ago that sounded to me like a full-blown computer or a netbook. Um, it comes with Windows 8.1, Microsoft Office, and it's uh, Wi-Fi ready, has a micro SD card reader, and has a 5 megapixel camera, 1.2 front uh, webcam, and supposedly 18 hours of battery. Not bad. Um, it only weighs less than a pound. So, um, I guess the form factor is very prim uh, similar to the um, Kindle Fire HD. So. The, the big difference being it's running a full-blown Windows 8. It's not the crap RT shit. It's the uh, Windows 8 that runs on on Atoms or in, on Intel. Let's see if it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit uh, when we boot it up. So here's the moment. It's kind of hard doing this with one hand. Just hear it. Oh, yes. It's out. Shiny and untouched for the first time. Um, I must say, uh, I've been uh, using Windows 8 on a Lenovo Yoga, and I've been pleasantly surprised. <clears throat> um, after getting used to a few things, I mean, I've been, I haven't been, I haven't used Windows since like 2005, and um, only for testing purposes, of course. Uh, but I've been trying to do uh, software development on a Windows 8 machine and it's been fine so far. Um, it's gotten a lot better. Uh, the Windows 8 tile interface still uncooked. Still has a, a long way to go, but it's much better than when Windows 8 came out. So uh, let's see how it feels like here on this little screen. Uh, should be should be okay. Um, with the Yoga, you can turn your laptop into a tablet and I found it uh, to be just as useful as my iPad um, for social networking and reading books and stuff. Um, uh, it, it's a cool option. So, and now I'm going to be taking Windows 8 to the bedroom with this, and I hope to start porting software to Windows 8. Uh, that's pretty much the the goal here. Because um, uh, after CES, I saw that there were plenty of Windows 8 tablets, as well as Android tablets, of course. Uh, and um, I think Microsoft is gonna it's not gonna let go of their um, user base and their market so easily they 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 saw this coming and that's why Windows 8 has this kind of transitional feel to it uh, so let's uh, make sure here we got the right time we are on Eastern time and um, I'm gonna pause here and skip one of the things I really like about Windows 8 is how the keyboard sounds like I love it uh, the keyboard feels great here too as um, and I, I thought it was just on the Lenovo but it also feels cool here even though it's a smaller screen and I think it has something to do with that sound uh, it just makes it nice to touch so this is one of the cool things of uh, having to log into your operating system um, uh, they, they, as I signed it up, as I signed in with my Microsoft account, um, it tells me about the Lenovo computer, and um, it could, it could like bring all my settings from there. But I'm gonna set this one as a new computer. Still, it gives me the option to sync my start screen layout, which uh, it was something that took me a while to to understand, as it wasn't very intuitive at first. It seems to be installing my apps, uh, the ones that I have on the Lenovo, the apps that I got from the store, that must be. Um, 
it's just very friendly interface i mean I like look, look look wise it's like all nicey and stuff but um, it, it'll take you a while to get used to if you haven't used windows 8 and then you'll just be a natural i'm sure still a lot of uncooked things sometimes you're kind of forced to do things you don't want to do like you have to do more work than you should for doing one thing like i try to update just one app and I couldn't, um, I hate things like you try to, you install an app and then it's not anywhere on the start screen and then it takes a while to figure out where, where the app is or um, then you go back to the store to see where the app is and even though you installed it there's no open button, something that should be basic, you know, like they have that on, on, on the Apple, Apple Store or the uh, Google Play Market, if you install something it says open and uninstall. Uh, well, once it's installed here, it just says it's been installed and you have to figure out where the hell the app went. Um, stuff like that. And then updating, try to update one app. No, it kind of forces you to update all of them. Or at least I couldn't figure out the gestures to uncheck things and just have one um, do it. Let's see if I can show you that uh, later. All right, Microsoft saying let's start. So this is how this feels on a tablet. So I guess at this point all the apps are updated because it just installed them. So it's opening the store. But I guess you don't want to see that. Uh, let's. So that's the gesture for closing things. So if I wanted to go to the desktop, where is the desktop? Is there a desktop mode here? It's got to be a desktop. It's got my Twitter, my Facebook app, just like where I left it. Here's the desktop. And um, we have a desktop here. I never used a desktop in vertical mode uh, like this in a, such a small form. Um, if you click here, you go back to here. And um, let's see, you can open your file explorer and there it is. Um, so let's switch it to horizontal way we're used to um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the, the keyboard and see how that feels like if, if it does feel like a PC with just a, a tiny screen so here's something I wanted to see here where it reads processor and um, the operating system even though it's an x64 based processor it's running a Windows 32-bit uh, wonder why that is um, because if you know, please leave uh, leave something in the comment sections below. So Dell has made a nice little keyboard. Uh, it should be su sufficient for doing any word processing or even programming here, or blogging, or answering the emails. And um, because all I need now is like a mouse. And then um, uh, if I got a Bluetooth mouse, then I'd be all set. Uh, let's set up the the docking thing. So it seems the keyboard comes with this cover, which is very similar to the the iPad one, like the cleaning, self-cleaning material here. Um, and it seems I've bought uh, one cover too many because if I use that, then I guess I don't need this. Uh, so I might be returning this one. Um, so I'm gonna set it up. And now this feels like an iPad mini, but just a little too heavy uh, for this size. But, you know, it, it could pass like an iPad mini. So you fold it back and it um, ends in this little stub here. And then you put it like this. And uh, once I've set up the Bluetooth keyboard, then I should be able to use it like a desktop computer. So it's a tablet with a keyboard. All you need is a mouse. And I have full-blown Windows. And, you know, Windows users that have these great apps that are nowhere else... Uh, they're going to appreciate this. Um, I think the the enterprise world has been waiting for this, and um, the same with the, the the twin ones and the yogas and all that. Uh, I think Microsoft still has some some room um, to figure out the transition to this world. It's just not so. You know, it just needs more apps, and and their apps are coming. You know, and uh, all the basic ones are here and. Now guys like me have to work on porting their apps to Windows 8. Uh, we just hope that Microsoft is going to give us tools, uh, better tools, or um, they should make uh, Visual Studio free, for example. I mean, every other platform lets you um, 
develop for free and how you know how, how do you expect kids that have no money to come and do the next app uh, they're just gonna jump into the free uh, Android uh, ecosystem instead uh, so Microsoft I hope you're listening free developer tools it's, I must say that adding the, the Bluetooth keyboard I've never had it this easy uh, certainly not with Apple uh, Bluetooth keyboards I've always had issues pairing this thing was like immediately it, it found it right away very good job Dale and Microsoft and now I'm installing Office and I'm gonna install Eclipse and uh, Ming GW and GitHub and everything um, it's, it's gonna be one hell of a productive laptop I mean a uh, tablet